It's going to be a fun game. I think it will be. I think it'll be exciting. Are you going this weekend? No, I don't think so. <laughs> we're actually, I know I'm not going because we're going to Duluth this weekend and going to spend the weekend in a log cabin and no way. have a really good time. Yeah, I'm excited for it. So we're kind of planning out our trip You're gonna right go, now. You're going to go like canoeing and camping and the whole thing? Canoeing? Or? Isn't the lakes going to be frozen? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we Maybe could put Duluth like blades on the boat or something yeah, you'll go and glide across. The big giant lake, so... I want to share some pics with you. Mm -hmm. um, Ozzy and Isabella were traveling for quite a while sometime as of late. I think this was in the D.C. airport or either at the hotel they were staying at. But So check this out. These are gingerbread houses. That is so and if you cool. Remember the movie Up? We watched that movie, so <laughs> when you sent these pictures, I was like, oh, that's Gusto yeah. Gusto's uh, restaurant. Oh, uh, I just ran it to it. We, we used to watch that like all the it's time. It's a good one. It's great. If you isn't haven't it? watched it in a while, go back and rewatch it because it's such a cute one. There we go. <laughs> he goes and, and then, of course, they had uh, Frozen. So they had Elsa's Frozen uh, Castle Palace, yeah. if you will. and. Very it's a gingerbread cool. house. That is so cool. And actually, tomorrow morning on the Valley Today, we're going to be making gingerbread houses. Mm. I know I made some with some little kids on last Friday. I went to a kindergarten class and got to help out. And their imaginations are so creative. I'm just kind of like, I would want the traditional, like, oh, the windows go right. here and this. <laughs> and, like, he put the chimney on the side of the house and stuck things coming out of it. And I was just like, this is, you're I really creative. That. I like this. And did he tell yeah. you why he put the chimney on the side of the no, house? No, he didn't. He was too busy eating half of his frosting, <laughs> the, the little one that I was helping out with. <laughs> it was really cute, though. I thought he was going to say, cool. I'm just trying to help Santa. It makes it so much easier. <laughs> makes it just more to, easier you know, than on the top of Yeah, the, you just walk right in and don't have to fall down. And so. Oh, I did, though, this weekend. I feel like I've had such a festive weekend. It was awesome because I went to our work Christmas party on Saturday, which we got to go bowling. Um, I dressed up because I like to dress up for the bowling party. <laughs> Lisa dressed up too, which I was super happy about. She showed up and she was like, yay, someone else dressed up. So that is she great. wasn't the only one. Um, and then I actually mm. went to Unglued, Auntie Ashley. They had a holiday party that night. And so oh. we went out to that and it was super fun. So there's Ashley and I. And yes, we did the typical take a picture in the bathroom because that's like <laughs> one of the many times I ran into her and I remembered finally to take a picture. And here's the thing is I was having so much fun, Chris Berg. My phone was not in my hand the whole time. What? I know, because I was too busy dancing. Yes. And oh, they I had do a DJ like or I what? liked they had a DJ. I like to have um, pictures of us. Oh, and there's some some other friends that work at Valley News Live. So Christine Stanwood was there and our friend Sydney and stuff. It was just super fun. But I was like, and that was, I was all, so wait, busy. Like, that was all at the Unglued party? Yeah, yeah. So this was one of their photo booth backdrops. Oh. So that's from Stranger Things with the Christmas lights. That's if great. If anyone's seen that. But we started with, it was kind of like cocktails and, and snacks and stuff. And I brought um, veggie pizza to share with everyone. And then it turned into, we all sang Christmas carols together. My favorite song, little drummer boy we sang that one and then um and then it turned into a dance party and it was super fun and it was all just like really awesome people who were out there partying. did you guys rage like all night or what time no you guys... not all night i can't oh. last all night anymore <laughs> <laughs> i get too tired for all night especially when you're dancing you get tired out so like 9 30 you're I, like okay it's time for i did stay up home. past 9 30 but not until bar close so somewhere <laughs> in between that time Christy went home, and I slept so hard because I was dancing my butt off that whole night. That is so it great. It was so fun. Even Jaron had a blast, too. He was just like, yeah, that was really fun. <laughs> at first, he was like, what's happening? What's going on? So He was kind of chilling off to the <laughs> side. Then. Well, at first, he was like, so what's happening tonight? What do you want me to go to? What is this? And he didn't really understand. And then once he went, he's like, oh, now I see why you really wanted to go to this. <laughs> Um, hey, we actually, I wanted to let some people know if you're looking for some fun or delicious holiday ideas, um, there is some handcrafted popcorn that might make for the perfect gift. So this is called Poppy. It's made in North Carolina. This is what I got in a box. Um, a mom of two decided one time, hey, our love for popcorn needs to be shared. So they have a whole bunch of different flavors. And yes, I did do my journalistic duty and taste test. So nice. they have things like classic olive oil and rosemary to the spicy jalapeno cheddar which that's good. And when they say spicy, they mean spicy. And then they had sweet flavors, like I had the uh, salted caramel, and then they have the dark chocolate pretzel, and they have like little ones and gift sets like this, otherwise wow. they have bigger bags. So if you have like holiday guests coming over and you're looking for snacks to put out, it might be good to do for that, or maybe give to someone as a gift, or you could just buy it for yourself and watch those Christmas movies yeah. or the holiday movies that you want. 
So um, their website's at the bottom of your screen, and I just wanted to share it with people because it was super delicious popcorn. That's awesome. Yum. Loved it. Poppy from Trolls. Poppy. <laughs> and that's what it reminded me of, the name Poppy. So I was like, oh, like trolls. But then I saw that they have the poppy flower on there. <laughs> okay, we didn't forget about our Christmas fun facts today. I still have them. We had other things to talk about first. Um, but today's Christmas song is Oh Christmas Tree. Oh Christmas Tree. Oh, you know that Christmas one. Christmas Tree. That's a good one to have. Um, interesting fact. This is our 10th fun <clears throat> fact of the time. Wait, what? Uh, this is our 10th one we've done. And really? we still have, I think we still have like nine more to go. So here's your fun facts for the day. White Christmas is the best selling song of all time. Has 100 million copies sold. Wow. Can you believe that? Um, so in Home Alone, Daniel Stern, who plays Marv, uh, was not very happy <laughs> to have a tarantula on his face in a scene, but he agreed to do it in one condition that they do it all in one take. Oof. And so what they had to do was his scream had to be then dubbed in later because if he screamed with a real tarantula on him, it would have scared the, the tarantula. Shh. So <clears throat> that's a little fun fact that you can share when you're watching those movies. Um, also, do you guys, what do you have for your holiday dinner? We do like the, the turkey. That's why I see ham is turkey. the favorite for dinner tables. Yeah, so actually my family has always done ham. I know lots of families do other things. They do, you know, the the um what's the fancy prime ribs some prime people rib, do yeah. and stuff well the dinner debate is definitely one of them that people have searches for ham and turkey both spike during this season december now um though it's nowhere near uh frequently like turkey at november but um despite its popularity of both uh festive entrees this spiral cut ham Those remains to be the most popular actually in 2013 <clears throat> 318 million Americans or th million pounds of ham were bought between November and December for their holiday tables. And actually, before ham and turkey, the traditional Christmas Christmas meal in England was a pig's head and mustard. No, uh, apparently that is what it was. So I am just so happy that it might be ham or turkey instead of a pig's head. <laughs> oh. I don't think I would eat a pig's head. Oh my. Well, let's mm -hmm. move on from that as fast mm -hmm. as we possibly can. <laughs> uh, hopefully, Tony, if you've got an update on the latest with Carson Wentz, I'm sure many were watching oh. the game yesterday. It was the game of the week. He ended up hurting his knee. He was out for the game. Some were saying it could be season ending. Now they're saying, hey, we're not going to find out until he gets his MRI this morning. But this, I, I believe, is the shot that yeah. he took going into the end zone. You could tell. I was like, oh, when I saw it, I was like, oh, that, that one hurt. But... As John Gruden say, Wentz being North Dakota tough, he just pops up off the turf, walks to the back of the huddle, and then later on Twitter, people are like, yeah, North Dakota tough. Tear your meniscus or whatever he may have told, and then go back mm -hmm. out there, throw a touchdown pass, and walk off the field yourself. I mean, yeah. he just... And you, and you know he's done this oh. move many times before. You know, he's taken it in for a touchdown before. He's made some other moves that you're kind of like, oh, that looked like it could have mm -hmm. hurt. And here you can see him walking off all by himself. But they did say at one point it did look like his knee kind of buckled. Yeah. And so today is when they're supposed to have that, oh, well, that's just so gross. We can stop playing the video anytime we need to. <laughs> <laughs> um, he did go to Twitter and last night say thanks for all the thoughts yeah. and the prayers. And this morning is what we're waiting for. We're waiting for that MRI to say what actually is happening and if he'll be back or if he won't for this season, which is sad. And again, the great thing about Carson Wentz, I mean, his tweet, you got like a sense of peace from him, like, hey, mm -hmm. this is just God's plan. I think he even tweeted out Proverbs 3, chapter, I mean, verse 5 and 6. And so you just kind of get the sense like, look, we'll deal with this as it goes. and Everything happens for a forward. reason. Yeah. Mm. Uh, quickly, I just won one last thing. Oh, okay. A lot of people were like bummed. The Vikings, I know oh. they lost, <laughs> but they played really, really well. There's yeah. a couple um, throws that they should have. I mean, they should have won that game. They yeah. should have won that game. So don't be too upset, even though I know Spencer Berry, that was a tough loss for the Vikes and Spencer Berry. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a lot of, there's a lot of upset fans, but maybe they'll grow from this one. Maybe exactly. from here they'll be like, hey, we're ready to come out and kick some butt. Here we go. All right, we got a great show in store for you. We're going to talk about the actual research that shows you can reverse type 2 diabetes and much more right after this.